back to us and said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since you all are school and you're trying, we're going to let y'all have him for 4500 So we were able to get Shakur for 4500 And we set out to raise the money, and then through friends of J.F. Shields, we were able to come up with the money mm-hmm. to get Shakur. Mm-hmm. And now we just had his nameplate put on, a beautiful black with gold trim lettering, and we also was able to get the lettering for the Mighty Panther uh, along the side of that platform, which adds to the, you know, the completion of it. But what we want to do is finish the second phase. The mm-hmm. second phase is going to pull all of it together. The second phase is we want to have a seating in the rear of the Panther so that it would become that significant spot drawing spot of J.L. Shields mm-hmm. the pinnacle yeah when you, you hit that campus you gotta go sit around the yeah panther. you gotta sit around <laughs> that panther you gotta get in the ceremony <laughs> so we about $3,000 short for mm-hmm. all you panther lovers out there and you wanna help this cause just see either one of us myself Mr. Howard or D.D. or any mm-hmm. Body that's affiliated with friends of J.F. Shields uh, and make a donation. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a great cause and a project that Ms. Lee and them is working on because mm-hmm. that modernizes the school. Yeah. You know, that brings us up to standards with technology uh, and billboard. And they can also sell ads on that mm-hmm. marquee if they really mm-hmm. get clever. Mm-hmm. Uh, they can sell ads. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could think about getting a sponsor to put their name on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how it will work, but they do have those type projects. Now, tomorrow, I sent a message to um, uh, members of the Alumni Association to get me that flyer and uh, get me that announcement for tomorrow, as well as what we are talking about now on that new marquee, um, LED marquee, as well as the things that the um, are mascot Shakur is doing uh, and the drawing part of that. But uh, Jeff Seals High School located in, in Beatrice, Alabama serves grades uh, K-4 through 12 uh, with approximately 260 students. Jeff Seals is a uh, 1A uh, provider of public education. That's class 1A. Uh, a 1A school with six titles. That, that, that ain't nothing to throw, throw baloney at that. That's, that's <laughs> oh, that's major. That's history, baby. That's major. That's it. That's major. And our school takes a family approach to learning by applying this model. Our school strives to promote academic excellence. And we have people that all over this world, man, to come out of Chile yeah, doing man. outstanding things. Yeah, we could be here all night just talking about it before we exhaust the subject. It's lots and lots of... There, 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 there's also coming up... Um, for the 2019-2020 season, um, I'm in the midst of working with uh, uh, getting a new concession stand. Uh, oh, wow! All kinds of good things going on. It's it's that that's, that's coming up and and being funded. And and I'm I I really believe the vision of Shields restoration and revive the five or six hundred is coming, baby. Yeah. Because we're going to build the infrastructure and media present. And you come in to Monroe County, there's yeah. schools you can go to, but you're going to want to be at Oh, yeah. JFC. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to let it die. That's it. we got to keep fighting. All right. Um, now, if you need to call the school for anything, you need to get in touch with Mr. Craig White. That telephone number is one two five one. Seven eight nine two one six eight. We want to thank Mr. Daly. Oh, I thank you. Yeah, and for, thank you again for all you do. Yeah, coming in here and sitting down in the studio and yeah, do some live talk. Live <laughs> from Beatrice, Alabama, <laughs> Blog Talk Radio. All right. We want to thank all of you for this is going to be airing tomorrow live. We start live. We're gonna be aired from uh, start being aired at uh, 
5.30 p.m. with all of the homecoming festivities, the queen. Uh, um, we're going to do a little different thing so far as the sound. We're going to put some uh, speakers down there and let them wow. walk all around with wireless mics and oh, wow. do whatever they need to do without coming up in the press box. Wow. And we're just going to keep that music going and let them do what they think. Oh, wow. Do their thing. Concessions are going to be, oh, awesome. Trail Tailgating going to be awesome. Man. Uh, we'll be actually going to be on lock. Yeah. And now here's the thing that's important. Ms. Odom uh, mentioned this earlier now. Talk about the safety and responsibilities of uh, people in their spots and, and taking care of their children and, and oh, safety yeah, we, and parking and all that kind of stuff. But we we definitely... See, See, there's a lot goes into, and we've heard some chatter about people not wanting to donate, thinking that we shouldn't charge, or, and, and we're not charging. We are we're only trying to raise money to help the cause. Mhm. Yeah. So we'll keep talking. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna. B. We are paying yeah. money money for uh, security. We have to spend money because this event is has grown so we can't take any chances. Uh, we want the people to be safe, so we're going to have three to four officers there for a crowd this side. Uh, we also have to pay those officers by the hour. Uh, so a lot of the monies that we use uh, from the donation that we ask for is to cover this cost because the People for Humanity is the owner of that property. And we're trying to partner with uh, the school so that the uh, alumni will have some place to host this event. So we know that we need adequate bathrooms and restrooms so we we had to pay money for that and we also know that we have to protect ourselves so we had to secure risk insurance so just to put this event on not only the uh, ground uh, clearing and grass cutting and the landscaping it costs a lot of money and we need you all to help us uh, pay for this event. And we want you all to know that the school needs resources. And we're trying to use whatever we make or have left over to pay for the the cost of putting on this event is making those donations to the various programs at the school. We, we want to uh, continue what we're doing uh, with the Panther, uh, that's through Friends of J.L. Shields, along with a lot of other people. Uh, people for Humanity is the organization that owns that land, and we're going to uh, continue to work with the school to uh, make these type programs available. And, and not only that, to add more programs, as Mr. Howard was mentioning, we're hoping that God will continue to bless us so we can grow and evolve far, far beyond our greatest imagination. And we're going to need all of you all to make that happen. It's for the love of our community and our school. And we, we just tickle to death that we see growth and we've seen a lot of progress. And we're going to continue to work to make sure that we do the best we can to make these things possible. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. All right. I just got from uh, Mary, uh, uh, the organization publisher for the uh, Hall of Fame Committee, uh, the ads and letters for tomorrow. We'll be passing them out. Mr. Mose Daily will have them. We're going to put our packets together tonight for distribution tomorrow. I'll have them in the press box. Uh, they'll be uh, over at the tailgating section. They'll be at the gate when you're coming to the game. Uh, ticket information, ordering form, everything that you need for the 2019 uh, 
Hall of Fame celebration. And here's the thing that's important. Um, if you want a registration form uh, to fill it out, don't just, if we give it, you ask for one tomorrow or whatever time you want one, take care of it, use it, fill it out, and send it back in by December the 31st. Uh, for all of us here at uh, House Sea Production Gospel Block Talk Radio, we want to thank you for listening to us. Uh, enjoy the game. Enjoy the rest of the festivities. And uh, make sure you get ready for that luau at the lake. That's going to be live. <laughs> Maroon and gold for life. Yeah, right. Maroon and gold for life. <laughs> Maroon and gold for life. For life. Y'all take right. care. We'll see you next time on House Evening Gospel. House Evening and Gospel. Blog Talk Radio. You're listening to How Super Rock and Gospel Blog Talk Radio from the Internet City, Beatrice, Alabama. Enjoy. You're listening to How Super Rock and Gospel Blog Talk Radio from the Internet City, Beatrice, Alabama. Enjoy. Mo's Daily live interview. Um, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, one of the things about um, Yale Seals High School is that um, we are a powerful, powerful, small high school in Beatrice, Alabama. And we thank you all for being a part of that. Make sure that you um, go out and vote on November 16th. Now, I'm going to say this in, this, in regards to us voting as black people. In Alabama, there is more Democrats than there are Republicans. And the only reason the Republicans are running the state of Alabama is because the Democrats in this state won't get up off of their ass and go vote. I'm just being real with you. I'm just being absolutely real with you because you won't get up and go vote. You will not vote. That's why I found it like it is. You won't go vote. And it's going to stay like it is, the Democrats running, I mean the GOP running it, this state. Because you folks here in Alabama won't vote. You all <clears throat> always sitting back talking about your vote don't count. It don't count. It don't count because you don't count. You don't pay attention to nothing. All you want to do is party, raise hell, keep up a mess. Get up off your rumps and go vote, Alabama. Go vote. November 6th. We got excellent people running in Monroe County. That's just the other day. A gentleman called me. Mr. Bragg, talking about how the registration votes that he turned in to the Monroe County Courthouse down there. He went down there to check on They couldn't find him. Just think if he hadn't went and checked on him. What about the people that you didn't got registered? I went back and checked on the, the person, the people uh, so forth as absentee ballots. I went back and checked on him. I said, did you mail it in? Did you? And I said, if you mail it in, that's all that's required of you. But Alabama, get up off your yo 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 Democrat and, and and go vote. November the sixth. All this stuff that uh, President Donald Trump is doing, and 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 and, and talking about it and saying in the media, and talking any kind of way, all that kind. Of, you know, you ain't never had no president talk that kind of crap to no human being before. That's because the majority of the people that wanted him in office put him in office. And the only reason why you know you got who you want in it, because you won't vote. All right. Let's go back and play uh, uh, the last portion of that uh, interview with Mr. Mo Daly. Good evening and welcome to J.L. Seals High School 2018 Homecoming. This weekend, all kind of good festivities going on. 
Stay with us as we continue here on the House of Gospel. 